Hello and welcome to Treasure in the News. My name is Matt. I'm a history enthusiast and treasure hunter, and I often dream of finding items with large historical impacts. But could you imagine finding an item possibly related to the crucifixion of Jesus Christ right here in North America? Makes my skin tingle just thinking about it. Well, that's exactly what has happened. Today, we are going to bring you an amazing treasure story out of the eastern part of the United States in Maryland. After close to 90 years of searching for the oldest English settlement, researchers have been able to locate it close to the town of St. Mary's. This fort was a palisaded fort, meaning it had log walls to defend from um, Native American tribes and other adversaries of the time, and would have been a very large English settlement. Not only is that an amazing discovery in itself to find the oldest established English settlement in Maryland, but the artifacts contained within the walls have told a completely different story. In the small corner of the fort, a small dirt-encrusted cross showed up in a sifting screen by archaeologist Stephanie Stevens. When she spotted the small dirt encrusted cross, she, gra she gasped, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Now, as someone who metal detects and sifts for items in the ground, I can relate to that feeling. It's a feeling of awe, wonder, not knowing what you found, but also seeing a small dirt encrusted artifact there, you just know that it is something old and it is going to be something good and personal. Now, what Stephanie didn't know, she had found an extremely rare Spanish cross that had likely made its pilgrimage from the city of Caravaca, Spain, around 1650. Further research would indicate that this fort was built in 1634. So this item had possibly been worn around the neck of the very first English settler to Maryland. It had traveled over 4,000 miles to be lost in a southern Maryland meadow. Research would, stu would soon uh, show the origin would be tied to an ancient Spanish legend about the miracle of a cross appearing that held a splinter, the one upon which Jesus died upon. And the representative here is a beautiful example and the only one as far as anyone knows to be located here in the United States. There are a number of these items that have been found around the city of Caravaca, but again, not a single one to be located here in the United States. With the fort now giving up the secrets of the past and really creating new mysteries as to how these items got here, what do you believe will be unearthed by those left behind? I'm uh, really excited to bring you Treasure in the News. This is brought to you by WeDigMetalDetectors.com. Go check them out for any of your treasure hunting needs metal detecting, displays, any of that good stuff. And I'm also interested if you know of any other treasure stories that we should highlight here. As always, I appreciate you watching. My name's Matt. This is Treasure, Hunt, treasure in the News, and we'll see you next time.